Hello YouTube and welcome back to a special report here on the Gunpla Network. As always, I'm your host, The Spicer, and today's special report is brought to you by Canadian Gundam. Be sure to use the promo code Gunpla Network at checkout for 10% off your entire order. Now, into the news. Starting us off, we have the Petitra Saber slash Arturia Pendragon, set to release in August of 2020 for a price tag of 1,650 Japanese yen. Now, this version of Saber, Arturia Pendragon, is a gender-bent version of King Arthur, although in a different OVA there is a male version of King Arthur. It's kind of confusing, but that's the Fate series for you, most notably featured in Fate Zero and Fate Stay Night, participating in the Holy Grail Wars. This version of Saber is easily one of the most recognizable characters to exist in anime ever, especially in the Fate series. Also, mainly because all of the Sabres, although having different personas, look the same. Even even Mordred looks like awfully similar, although she's technically the son of King Arthur, but she's also gender-bent. Fate's a confusing franchise, but hey, it's cool, it's cute, it's great. We also have the figurized standard Amplified Black War Greymon, set to release in September of 2020 for a price tag of 4,730 Japanese yen. Now, this version of War Greymon has a couple of different names, such as the Jet Black Dragon Warrior and Black Knight. It's actually a virus species Digimon of our fan favorite War Greymon, the pinnacle good guy of our original Digimon nostalgia. And it's really cool to see this. And it's just a pretty much a color swap, so pretty easy to do, but it would be really cool to see these on the shelf right up against the regular War Greymon. We also have the Real Grade Evangelion Unit 2, set to release in September of 2020 for a price tag of 4,950 Japanese yen. The Evangelion Unit 2 is actually the first non-prototype combat unit to be produced, as it is the newest out of the three we see in pretty much all of the Evangelion content anywhere, ever. It is the mostly red unit piloted by Asuka, who uh, yeah, some educated individuals would potentially call best girl, but regardless, it is cool to see this. I knew it was only a matter of time, and if it's anything like the Unit 1, it's going to be a phenomenal model kit. We also have the Haropla Haro Fitter, set to release in August of 2020 for a price tag of 1,320 Japanese yen. Now, this Haropla is a little different. It's uh, kind of like a mech worker type situation, but a little cutesy and a little more new age as it's all molded in a very crisp, very clean white with a couple of details here and there. It also has cat ears because why not? It's cute, and it really makes me want more of the Catpla that we had seen uh, a while ago now. We also have the figurized standard Build Divers Tri Fumina Hashino, set to release in September of 2020 for a price tag of 2,640 Japanese yen. Although Fumina has had several different waifu kits, she's never herself actually had a release, so it is nice to see Figure Eye Standard taking that on. She is the team lead of the Gundam Build Divers Tri Team, and also the president of the Builders Club, which is where the story really starts. If she hadn't got two other members, the club would have been closed down and we wouldn't have gotten a pretty decent follow-up to Gundam Build Divers, and a great precursor to Gundam build divers unfortunately but regardless it's cool to see this and it really makes me excited for what the figure I standard line holds in the future we could get more waifus and we could also get some house bandos give me some char give me some amaro come on bandai you know you can do it we also have the high grade build divers re-rise on rise armor set to release in August of 2020 for a price tag of 935 Japanese yen. Almost said 9,000. That wouldn't have made sense. One of the core Gundam Rise Armor units is coming to the High Grade Build Divers Re-Rise line. It's very exciting to see. All of these extra extension parts are really cool because you can throw them on so many other kits. And this particular kit is going to come with four booster units that you can use for flight poses and flight equipment or you can actually use them as power arm units, so if you want a jacked, only arm day Gundam, you can have it. 
We also have the high grade Tetrum Arms set release in September of 2020 for a price tag of 825 Japanese yen. This is coming out of the Tetrum Gundam, which is based on the MSF007 Gundam Mark III and is most featured in Gundam Build Divers Re-Rise as it's the good guy predecessor or precursor rather to the Seltzum Gundam. So before it all turns evil, it's a lot closer to the Gundam Mark III also. Really the only differences are the head and the arm, but it's still cool to see. And the big dish on the gun really gives me Sentinel Gundam vibes. So I'm really excited to get this and throw it on a bunch of different kits because it's going to look really cool. We also have the High Grade Build Divers Re-Rise Gundam Anima Rise, set to release in August of 2020 for a price tag of 2,900 Japanese yen. This was first featured in Gundam Ace back in February, and the Anima Rise is going to be joining the Gundam Build Divers Re-Rise Gunpla line. As with any of the previous Core Gundam iterations, it is going to come with the Core Gundam and all the armor parts to achieve the look. It is more kind of a mashup of the Valky Lander type look, so it's kind of cool to see that. I definitely like them combining different members of the team with this and giving a pretty cool aesthetic. We also have the high grade Universal Sentry NRX 055 Bondock set to release in September of 2020 for a price tag of 5,500 Japanese yen. This is a fan favorite from Zeta Gundam and it is the quintessential design of strange Zeta Gundam designs. It's a transformable mobile suit featured very heavily in, you guessed it, Zeta Gundam. And it's piloted by a lot of different Titan pilots. It's one of those like the plant that just kind of hangs around and you have a couple of different people go through it. Um, you've got Rosemaria Badam, the cyber new type who tries to like be Camille's sister type thing, which doesn't really work because he's like, I don't have a sister, but whatever. Uh, the Gates Kappa, and of course our favorite Jared Mesa, the original, the OG to call Camille out for potentially not having a guy's name and getting punched in the face for it. Really the start of Camille's rebellious streak. It is such a strange design, and it reminds me of so much of Zeta Gundam of like, oh, that's really weird, but it's kind of cool. It has its own unique style, and it, its really rounded shape is different. It's not even really close to something we see in Zeta. It does take a couple of cues from other things, but it is its own unique design. We also, lastly, have the high-grade Iron-Blooded Orphans Gundam Horashiboshi. Set to release in August of 2020 for a price tag of 1,650 Japanese yen. The ASWG35 Hiroshiboshi is featured in the upcoming mobile game Iron Blooded Orphans Uderu Hunt. I think I pronounced that right. Um, we'll not get to play it, I doubt, because it's probably not going to come out in English, but regardless, still cool to see. More Gumpla is never a bad thing. And this is actually based off the Marcosius that just came out, so make of that what you will. Uh, it is really cool to see stuff like this come out. Um, it does show Bandai supporting the Iron-Blooded Orphans line, so it does give us some hope that, hey, if Iron-Blooded Orphans keeps getting all the side material, maybe some extra manga, maybe another game, we'll maybe see some more stuff and maybe eventually get closer to that calamity war storyline we've all wanted forever but it is nice to see at least a couple more potentially floppy flimsy not great torso joints coming out and that is it for this special report bandai went nuts and put a lot of stuff out and there's a lot of stuff on here i'm really excited about that ava unit 2 is looking hot and of course maybe potentially best girl it'd be represented it'd be great uh this hit to tear from arms is going to be really exciting i love that design so putting it on other stuff is going to be great it's great to see more zeta gundam love always a cool thing to see there's such unique designs that come out of it it's like yeah just give me all of it, it i'll just put it on my shelf and uh, of course seeing a little bit of different stuff with the saber um the petitris saber as much as I've not jumped into Fate super hard, I, I from a distance love Fate, so it is really cool to see some of that stuff come out. But of course, 
If you're just now joining us, check us out. We've got regular news on a uh, bi-weekly basis. We've got a bunch of other stuff, such as ships and stuff, reviews, unboxing, interviews, tons of different content for you to look at. We also have our Instagram, where we feature your work, as well as our Facebook, where you can share your work and get to know us a little bit better. And of course, our website, where we post articles and all of this news in real time. And lastly, of course, our Teespring store. If you want to cop some sick merch, you want to get a t-shirt, a mug, a sticker. The stickers are really cool. They're really cheap. Throw them on a box. You keep all your tools and looks great. Or a sweater. You can definitely do it. And that is it, guys. That is the special report that came out of nowhere. Let me know in the comments down below what you like the most. I'm very excited to see everyone's opinions on this. And of course, keep on building.